Yeah. All right. No. Uh, thank you, ma'am. It's good to be here. I'm divorced. Yeah. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? Lots of people get divorced, huh? Sure. Tons of people. So many people get divorced these days that now it's the people that stay married that really seem strange. 25 years, oh my God, what happened? Don't you know you can get out of it? It's embarrassing to get divorced. My wife and I, we only lasted three years. Yeah, we were supposed to be together until one of us died. I never even had a fever. <laughs> Worst part was getting that divorce notice in the, uh, in the mail. Because throughout my life, I have felt like a failure. But now there's actual paperwork to prove it. <laughs> You gotta reevaluate yourself if you get divorced, man. It says something about you. It's pathetic. I mean, come on. When you can't get along with someone who loves you. Wow. Now who do I date? My wife thought I was too down, I was too negative. Well, this divorce should help. You showed me. <laughs> she said I had changed. You ever hear that, fellas? You've changed? Yeah, you didn't used to be like this. If I'd learning to be like this, Nick, I never would have gone to bed with you. Well, guess why I didn't tell you? <laughs> trying to move some product. My friends were shocked. You got divorced, wow. You seem so happy at the wedding. <laughs> that's stupid. The wedding, that's not part of the marriage. You're not into it at that point. Wedding. It's like telling a shark attack victim, gee, you uh, seemed okay on the beach. <laughs> I wasn't in the water yet, jackass. <laughs> Einstein got divorced, did you people know that? No, I didn't either, Albert Einstein. One of the greatest geniuses of all times got divorced. They should tell you that before you get married. It shouldn't be, do you love her? Do you want to spend the rest of your life with her? It should be, do you think you're smarter than Einstein? <laughs> huh, 2.0? <laughs> Marriage is hard, man. No one tells you how hard it's going to be. They try to slip it into the ceremony at the last minute. In sickness and in health. <laughs> for richer or for poorer. But at that point, what are you gonna say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How sick and poor is this broad gonna get? <laughs> it's just gonna be like charging stuff and barfing? <laughs> Look at me, lady! <laughs> Pay attention. I could have been more affectionate. That's one of my, probably not very affectionate. I don't come from an affectionate background. I don't come from a warm family, you know? You want to get a hug in my family? You got to get something stuck in your throat. <laughs> and even then, as soon as it pops out, the other person's like, get off of me. <laughs> Thank you, lady. I don't even want to say I love you anymore. I'm done saying I love you, man. 
Seriously, it's the worst. That first I love you is the worst. The first time you ever tell a woman you love her. Because we know you ladies are waiting for it. And when you hear it that first time, something comes over you women. Your eyes get all wide. Get that diabolical grin on your face. <laughs> you can almost feel the women saying, Excellent. <laughs> it's all falling into place. something different you know when a woman says I love you when a woman says I love you it, it's coming from experience it means we're committed we're together we're gonna make it when a man says I love you sometimes it just means I'm done talking now problem with relationships is love. How do you know if you're in love? There's no way to confirm it. There's no test. It's not like you stick your in. Hey, it turned blue. We're in love. It's a guess. Right? You're guessing. And like I said, it's easier for women to guess if they're in love. Women have experience with love. Women have been loving things their whole lives. <laughs> Dolls, cats, puppies, pillows, friends, flowers, boys, clothes, shoes, makeup, stickers, plates, curtains. <laughs> Everything a woman sees, I love that. <laughs> it's fantastic, me and the gravy boat, that means a lot. Men are the exact opposite. What have men been doing their whole lives? We've been pulling legs off spiders and shooting bottle rockets at each other's <laughs> and punching each other and giving <laughs> twisters and scratching ourselves, doing shots, throwing up. There's a hell of a resume for love. Cuddle? You're lucky I don't choke you to death the first night. By accident. Know anything about love before I got married? Before I got married, my whole life, dirty laundry, frozen pizza, porno. And I liked it. I did. I felt like a private eye with no cases. <laughs> then I got married. I was saying good morning, going for walks, holding hands, hugging, doing chores. It's like I lost a bet or something. <laughs> That's not who I wanted to be. I wanted to be Sean Penn, Christopher Walken, pissed off, creepy, moody. <laughs> then I got married. I had a sock drawer. <laughs> you think Christopher Walken has a sock drawer? Maybe, but it's full of doll heads and cocaine and cool stuff. Thank you very much, I have to go.